welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. Today's video is going to be all about prom beauty hacks and tips and tricks and all that good stuff. You can of course use these tips and tricks or hacks on other occasions such as weddings or events, parties, stuff like that. I just recently did a video all about teenager beauty hacks and you guys seem to love it so I'll link that one for you guys in the description box if you want to check it out. Leave a comment in the comment section tell me what kind of prom dresses you like, you like long, short, what color. I'm really interested to see what you wore or what kind of dresses you like because I'm all about prom dresses. I think it's so much fun to go find the perfect dress. Or you can even leave a comment telling me your prom experience because you know I'm really nosy and creepy like that and I'd love to know and we can have a little discussion in the comment section. But before I begin there's this thing I do in every single video and that is if you go over right now to my Instagram, you follow me and you comment on my latest photo saying you're coming from this video, I will go spam you. I will go spam you as long as you're not private. But that being said, let's get into it. Of course, for prom, you have to have the perfect dress and hair and makeup. So something that I did is I would go on a lot of prom websites or Pinterest and just get inspiration for my dress, get hair and makeup inspo and what I pretty much wanted. And if you just look on the internet and just get inspiration, you're gonna come up with what you want to look like for prom. Another little tip I have for you guys is I know a lot of people go get their makeup done and their hair done professionally done, but a little tip I do have is if you're not getting your makeup or hair done professionally, definitely do a practice test run. Even if you are getting your makeup and hair done, I know a lot of girls when I was in prom during my prom time back in the old days, I noticed a lot of girls would get a test run as well and go to their salons or go get their makeup tested just to make sure that they know what they want and maybe, and you might think it's gonna look good and then you try it and you're gonna hate it. So it's just gonna avoid that stress that you may have on the actual day. So definitely practicing and seeing what looks good on you is really important I think to test out before you go all in on the very special day. As well as a little tip when it comes to makeup, make sure you stay matte for prom. So I'm just taking my Bosha T-Zone treatment and I apply it after my makeup and this just gets rid of shine because when you are taking pictures and things like that for prom, since that's gonna be a big thing, it's important that you're matte because if you're more dewy then in pictures it just doesn't come off as well. So I am just practicing on my hair as well. It's really up to you if you wanna have it all down, if you want half up, half down, or maybe you want it all up out of your face. So I usually like to go with the loose wave look and for my prom, I did go for the loose wave look. So I think it's just really important to test it out, see what you like, see what you don't like and stuff like that. A beauty hack I have for you guys is to use dry shampoo even if your hair is clean and this is just gonna give you that extra volume to your hair. The next beauty hack is all you're gonna need is take your favorite perfume and spritz a little bit onto your hairbrush and you're just gonna brush your hair through with it. And this is just gonna give your hair a little bit of a nice smell and I don't know about you guys, but I hate the smell of burnt hair, which is definitely what happens when you straighten it and you curl it and most likely you are going to be using heat on your hair. So this is just gonna give your hair a nice smell to it. And this is the completed look with the hair and makeup. And if you guys are curious about this makeup look, I just did a video called how to look tumbler I'll link it in the description box and I pretty much do the exact same makeup so definitely go check out that video if you want to see everything that I used on my face next is my favorite part and that is finding your dream dress and finding the right accessories and all that good stuff the dress I'm showing you guys is absolutely beautiful and I got it from newyorkdress.com it's an online store that pretty much provides evening prom and cocktail dresses so I definitely recommend going there's the largest selection ever of dresses anything you can think of definitely go there even for inspiration I'll have the link down below so if any of you guys use my link to sign up for the mailing list you will actually receive a $20 gift card sent to your email so if you have prom season or a really fancy event coming up definitely go check this site out because it has the most stunning dresses you could ever think of but I've always wanted a dress that has all the jewels and it's just nude and I'm absolutely in love with this dress it fits super nice and and it is also such good quality quality. Something that was really nice that the dress came with are these 
these bust enhancers. Since you can't really use a bra for this dress because the back is really see-through and mesh, you can definitely add these in. If you don't want it to be so flat and if you just want a little bit extra to the chest, you can just slip these right in. And as you guys can see, I just went with some nude shoes because the dress is just really a statement piece and I didn't want my shoes to stand out or anything like that. And if you guys are curious, these ones were from Forever 21 and they were super affordable. I believe they were actually on sale for like $15, so it was definitely a steal. A little hack I have for you guys is to take some sandpaper and rub it on the bottoms of your shoes and this is just going to give your shoes a better grip especially when they are new because you don't want to be slipping and falling on your prom day that will be quite embarrassing. And another hack for the shoes is to actually take hairspray and spray your feet. And this is basically going to prevent your feet from slipping out and sliding out of your heels. So just spray them before you put your heels on and you're all good. Of course, you want to get your nails done. But if you end up messing up your manicure and you don't have time to go back to the salon, if the polish is still wet, all you have to do is wet your thumb and gently massage the area that is smudged and make sure you put very little pressure. And then you just have to reapply a top coat and it will look brand new. This next beauty hack is going to be a quick fix to a pimple because they always come when you don't want them. So all you're going to do is you're going to take an ice cube and put it onto the pimple for 30 to 60 seconds. Then you're just going to take some eye drops and you're going to make a tissue damp with it and apply that tissue onto the zip for three minutes. And this is just going to basically help with the redness of the pimple and also ease irritation so that you're all good for the prom day. This next beauty hack is going to be a DIY face mask to prep your skin before you have your prom night. So I am just going to show you what I like to do is I like to take an avocado and then you're going to take the avocado, put it into a bowl. Then you're just going to take half a teaspoon of lemon juice and put it into that same bowl. And then to finish it off, you're going to take one egg white and you're just going to mix it all together until it makes a paste. You're going to keep it onto your face for about 10 to 15 minutes before you rinse it off with cool water. Of course, we want to have sparkly white teeth for prom, so I have a little DIY teeth whitening little hack for you guys. I have a whole video on DIY teeth whitening, so I'll link that down below, but all you're going to need is baking soda and some lemon juice. You're just going to squeeze a little bit of lemon and mix it together until it makes a paste consistency. Then you're going to take a clean toothbrush and apply it onto the teeth. Let it sit for one minute before you rinse it all off, and this really does make a difference if you do it once a week for about a couple weeks. Of course, though, do not do this every single day that is all for the video i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give that big thumbs up if you liked it click that subscribe button down below to join the nicolette's fam jam because your girl uploads every other day here on my channel but that being said i hope you guys are having an amazing day evening or night whenever you're watching this and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye